this minimal and modern portfolio will help you to get jobs and clients in 2025. Trust me, I just used Canva and ChatGPT to design this in no time. Stick around till the end and I'll show you easy step-by-step -step guide to design this portfolio. Well, let's dive in. I'm in the Canva right now. So I'm going to create a slide, which is a presentation slide. And now firstly, I'm going to select the colors which I want to use for my entire portfolio. So I'll just go here and I'll create a shape. I'll increase the size of it. To make it easy, I have already designed portfolio over here so that I'll just copy the color code and I'm going to paste it over here. And this is the color I'm going to use for the entire portfolio. So in the header section, I have added the year on the right and in the left, I've just added creator and you can add any, any word, which is very suitable for your portfolio. And now we're going to add the image. So I have downloaded this image from free pick. If you have a profile picture of yours in a high quality, you can add it. Or if you don't have a picture, that's okay. You can just keep the text there and add some more effects. I think profile picture is not a compulsory thing to do. So you can just, uh, skip that part so i'm gonna place it in exactly in the center now we're gonna add the main title portfolio over here since i've already typed it i'm gonna just copy here and paste it i think it's already looks pretty good the next thing i'm gonna do is this below text i'm gonna just copy this and i'm gonna paste it here so here you can add your name and on the right you can add your designation to fill the gaps we can add some shapes over here so in the canva i have found this shape so just go to this elements and you just type shapes so when you come to this section graphics uh you have a lot of shapes here which is pretty pretty cool to use so i'm gonna use the shape which i've already added from it i'm just gonna copy this and i'll place it here on this corner and i'll hold alt and click and drag to duplicate it and mainly I'm going to add to give more detail. I'm going to add this line kind of a grid. We can say so I'm going to copy this and I'll paste it here. The first slide is done already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. Right click and we can duplicate it over here. And we're in the second page right now. So I'm going to remove unwanted things for the second slide. So the second slide is we're going to fill the color to the entire slide and we're going to add the content and all these points. So we have to change the colors of the header also to white even for this lines. So I'm going to move this title on the top left aligning with this text over here and I'm going to change the title to content. Now I'm going to follow the same thing adding a line on the left will have the number and the right will have the text where it says what is the content is going to be in the page. Create the line you have to go to this tools go to the lines and just click on this. So you will have a line over here if you want to change the color you can just go here and choose the color. So that's how I've added all these lines. So I'm going to just copy this and paste it over here. So that's that's how simple is to design the second slide. Now I'm going to show the most uh, important slide which is about me slide I'm gonna right click and duplicate it and again I'm gonna remove the unwanted things I'm gonna keep the title for the third slide I'm gonna decrease the shape here so that we can add a profile picture over here so again I found this image in free pick and I've just removed the background and I'm gonna copy this and paste it over here and align it accordingly and then go here and I'm gonna copy the title and paste it over here and then the description paste it over here so I'm gonna show you how I created these stickers so we'll go to the elements section and we'll go to the shapes and we'll create a shape and we'll change the color to the fill will be white and the stroke will be our primary color and I'm gonna decrease the size we're gonna add a text inside which says logo design now mainly select the shape so if you go here you will have a corner surrounding option Option. You just click and drag to make it 100% curve and also I'm gonna change the text color to this stroke we're gonna increase it and that's how you create this fun stickers you can just rotate it a little and we can place it so it look a little fun and uh, attractive so that's how we create all the shapes from this elements section so quickly I'm gonna copy all this since you know how to create it and that's how I designed the third slide fourth slide so when you come to the first slide, the background is completely white and we're going to delete the unwanted things again. So we have added the title skills and tools over here. We're going to place it in the center. You'll get these icons in flat icons and also you'll get it in free pick of PNG files. All you have to do is just drag and drop and it'll be based here. So here I've just kept three different sizes for the icons and also I've added this 
bullet points so i'm gonna place it over here and that's it that's how you do the fourth slide make sure to explore with the placements for now i'm gonna just go to the minimal and clean design you can explore however you feel comfortable and with your own style fifth slide is also the similar to the second slide place the heading change the heading and bottom you just copy and paste the content again you know how to add the line over here so it's already added sixth slide so how you're gonna place your works over here is we gonna just duplicate this content slide and we're gonna pull it over here and we're gonna delete this so firstly we'll keep the text and the description which about the project on the left over here so i'm gonna quickly copy and paste it so i made the heading as bold and others as a regular font so that will have some contrast to that and to create this you just go here just go to the section elements and go to frames and you'll have all the shapes over here for now we just need this flat one and we'll increase the size of it and we're gonna place it in the corner all you have to do is export your projects as png images or jpeg images and upload it here when you upload it you'll have it in the upload section so from there you just have to drag and drop it in this so that it will stay inside the frame so it look pretty neat so you can duplicate this and create how much of a projects you worked on or what are the projects you want to showcase in your portfolio and before this you can create a title which says a uh, projects so that we'll have a clear guide for that and finally i'm gonna if you come to the end slide it's pretty pretty simple so background i have added a primary color and i've used the same element which i've used in the first slide to give that consistent on the left i've added the contact title on the right i've added a small note and below i added all the call to actions on my social media platforms and everything okay now i'm gonna show you how to generate content using chat gpt so when you're in the chat gpt you just type this prompt over here i can add this prompt in the description or you can create your own prompt using this as reference mainly don't forget to give the titles in the prompt so it will divide the content and give it to each slide and make things easy so that's pretty much it and that's how you can use canva and chat gpt to create this minimal portfolio Portfolio. Please explore with more different colors and your own ideas using this technique. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It encourages me to create more of such content. See you all until I get back with an informative video on graphic designing.